life. It is most certainly about chance and circumstance. A cacophony, one might say, if you are prone to using fancy words. One corner, two corner, three corner more. Sometimes it is a simple corner that holds sway and decides your fate. Such is the case of one Hannah Cornelius, who were on a first date with someone that she'd just met at a university. After a night of drinking and dancing at a popular university bar, she offered to drive her new friend home. But still not wanting the evening to end, they parked up in the grass in front of the young man's home. But little did the young couple know that their first date would be their last. A date with destiny, one may lyrically wax. Or as my dear old man used to warn, whatever you say, whatever you do, there's always someone watching you. Then, out of the darkness, births the shadow people. Not bringing gifts, but bringing hatred and violence. The couple, fixated on each other, were unawares that they'd been targeted by the shadow people. And that the shadow people weren't leaving. And while young Hannah spoke to her suitor about her dreams, her aspirations, and how she keeps her hair so silky soft, two of the shadow people had doubled back. One of them reached into her window with a screwdriver and held it to her chest. When Hannah's date tried to defend her honor and reached up and grabbed the shadow man's hand, a second shadow man leaned in and held a knife to her date's neck. As this happens, two more shadow men appear. It is then that they force Hannah's date into the back seat between two shadow men. And the other two place Hannah between them. Hannah won't give them the keys. She begs them not to steal the car, for it's her grandmother's. But they threaten to kill her, because this is the way of the shadow people. the vehicle, now in control of the Shadow Man, drives away. Hannah's car appears almost an hour later at a gas station. At this point, her date has been locked in the trunk, and one of the Shadow Men goes inside the gas station to attempt to use his bank card. But he's been given the wrong pin number. Something Hannah's date will pay for. Dearly. It's almost 30 minutes later that Hannah's car arrives in a field. The sun will soon be rising. They take Hannah's date from the trunk and make him lay on the ground, placing his head on a brick then smash it several times with a large rock and leave him for dead. Hannah is then driven 20 minutes away to an abandoned paintball field where she is brutally raped and tortured in every way that you can be raped. And it lasted over 60 minutes. And then when the shadow men had finished doing what they had come to do. They took a large rock and they smashed Hannah's skull and the face beyond recognition. From there, after a day of using Hannah's car to rob and attack other women, the Shadow Man are spotted and brought to justice. 
and they disobeyed one of their own laws. Never leave a witness. 